Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Before I begin this video, I do want to apologize if you guys hear the smoke detector. I have been, I basically was able to fix four of the five smoke detectors in this house. The one that's all the way in the front of the house in the living room by the front door it doesn't matter what I do, um, it just continues to be. I just think they need to fix all of the smoke detectors, change them and everything. Especially since a lot of these are um, the hardwire ones that are like in the wiring within the house. So, I apologize. Hopefully it's not too bad. I do have the door closed. It just continues to beep and it's irritating me. Um, and a lot of you guys did ask about um, if it was like irritating. Yes, the smoke detectors were irritating, um, but I didn't allow that to stop me from making video content. So, I just dealt with it <laughs> pretty much. But um, I do hear you guys and I do understand it can be annoying. So, I was able to fix four of the five. One of them just continues to beep no matter how many times I reset it unplug it and put like pull it out it, it doesn't matter so i apologize but this is going to be the first video for the kingdom sister summer youtube collab that my sis and i angela from transform through god's word created and i'm so excited there are 10 of us total and if you guys definitely want to check out the other ladies i will leave all their links down below definitely check them out I have um, Stephanie Harris, which I love my sis, Stephanie Robb, there is Angela McKinnon, there is, oh my gosh, where's the paper? There's a lot of us. Um, there's Emily, my little sister. We have, I swear, I always, she taught me how to say her name, but I feel like I always say it wrong. Sareka, we have her. Um, we have, who else? We have Indira, we have Pamela, and we have, I think her name is pronounced Isha if I'm not mistaken, but I will leave links to all their channels down below so you can see their videos. Definitely go watch them. Um, this is, like I said, a collaboration kind of thing that my sis Angela and I from Transform Through God's Word created, and I just felt like there was a need for a, a collaboration with um, Christian YouTubers because there's not many collaboration videos with Christian YouTubers. Um, you have people who do tag videos, but I wanted to do something that would um, just connect us with other YouTubers within uh the christian community and kind of expand it and make friends obviously but um it is called kingdom sisters it is meant for women but men are welcome to do the videos as well but um yeah so this first video is the 20 questions tag video i came up with 10 questions angela came up with 10 questions i meshed them up put them on a paper there's a printable i have my paper right here so i'm gonna just dive into the video and it's probably gonna be all over the place because i forgot i have to pick things up like show you guys things so with me so the first question is how did you find out about doi and ttgw um well i am the creator founder whatever you want to call it of doi but um i can tell you guys how i basically started it um i was studying the book of john i was actually on vacation um it was in july i think excuse me i'm just gonna take some of my coffee but i was on vacation with my siblings and we went down south and um we went to stay with my grandmother which was a, a great time. And I was reading the Esther anointing, and I believe I was studying the book of Esther at the time. And then um, I've always been a fan of the Gospel of John. Like, gospel, the Gospel of John was something that really gripped me when I first started studying the Word of God. And John 3.30, which is, He must increase, I must decrease, which is what John the Baptist said when um, his followers had came and told him about Jesus. Um, starting to baptize people and you know John basically said that and in the midst of reading um, the Esther anointing by Michelle McLean Walters the Lord dropped on my heart to get back into making YouTube videos I've been a YouTuber since 2009 um, I've had so many channels but my kind of main channel was um, makeup by Nay Denise slash I call it beauty by Nay Denise now but um, I did beauty content on you know in the YouTube community and I had fun with it and I had almost 2,000 subscribers but I just, I fell out of love with doing makeup because I was dealing with some things and the Lord was working on me. And then I had a book blog. I had a beauty blog. Like, blogging was something that I always loved to do. Making videos was something that I enjoyed. So, um, God just dropped it on my spirit to do it. And when I was with my grandmother, she mentioned, um, a woman's choir that they have at her church. I don't know what it was called. I think it was Sisters of Something. Uh, women, it, it was either Sisters or Women's or something. And, um... It clicked in my head, Daughter of Increase, pretty much, and um, I wanted to do Daughters of Increase, but when I googled it, there was already, I think, a ministry that had Daughters of Increase, 
so I went with daughter of increase um just because I feel like I am at a place now where I can truly say that I'm a, I'm like I'm a daughter of the one true king um because there's so much that we have to do every now and then um we're very fleshly I know that I can be very fleshly at times but I've learned that I need to just die of myself every day continually in every aspect so that God can increase in my life so he must decrease I mean, he must increase, I must decrease, and that's how I came up with Daughter of Increase. Now, TTDW, which is transformed through God's Word, is the sister group of Daughter of Increase, which my sis Angela created. And Angela, when I first started Daughter of Increase, um, we linked up, like God literally like linked us up. And she helped me out so much with it. And then she wanted to start TTGW, which I told her was totally fine to do. Like, I'm, I was all for it. So that's how I found out about that. And she was helping with me with my group. I was helping her with her group. But um, I just got so swamped, like, with so much stuff. Um, but thankfully, we met Tasha. And um, Tasha also helped me out with my group. But now she's definitely working closely with um, Angela with TTGW. And I am so proud of both of them. I, I love it so much that they were able to grow and expand. And um, it, it's just amazing. So that's how I found out about creating DOI and how I found out about TTGW. Okay, the second question is, what is your favorite Bible that you own? And we basically are to show it. So for me... That is going to be a hard one because I have, like, my top three Bibles that I always use. No matter what, these three Bibles are out at the same time. I don't care. Like, they're always out. So, the first one I'm going to show you guys, and this is not in order. I'm just grabbing them because they were, like, close to me. But this first one is the Thompson Chain Reference Bible by Kirk Bride. I love this Bible so much. And I love it because it's a study Bible without commentary. It's basically scripture referencing itself it's using scripture to prove itself it's connecting the old testament with the new testament and there are eight departments of references like this bible is amazing um, and i'm going to show you guys what i mean so no that's not the part <laughs> here we go so we have all of this portion is the actual text um genesis to revelations and then you have all of this portion which is the actual eight departments i mean there's a cyclopedia in here there's bible readings they're outlined it's a study um they go through prominent bible characters there's the bible harmonies and illustrations they give you archaeological supplement there's a colored bible atlas there's concord there's a concordance like this has so much in it um and i love it because it allows me to study the word of god without looking at someone else's thoughts um and i love the chain reference system that they have in here i've, I've done a video so you can click the honest screen there is a part two coming i know a lot of you guys are waiting on that video i'm going to be working on that really soon but um that's one of them my next favorite bible is the first bible that i got i got this back in march of 2016 i believe march 4th 2016 i picked this bible out myself my mom actually purchased it from christianbook.com and it is the king james women's study bible from thomas nelson i love this there is an updated um kind of I don't want to say translation because it's not updated translation. It's just an updated version of this um, where it has like really pretty florals and stuff. But um, I love this one. This is the Pink Cafe Olate design. Um, it's imitation leather, faux leather, I believe. But um, I just, I was really intrigued by the Bible and I love it so much. This was the first Bible I used to um, dive in and I'll quickly show you guys John. Um, this, like I said, was the first Bible I used to really dive deep into the word let me show you guys another page like i was using post-it notes this is before i got into actual like bible journaling i was doing like micro bible journaling in my regular bible i love this bible it is the like best thing ever and it has sentimental value because this was the first bible i used um one that i can remember me owning because i don't think i've really owned a bible when i was younger i love reading the bible i don't think i owned a bible and um this is just one that really has a lot of sentimental value to me and my mom purchased it so we have this one i always study with this one and the um commentary in here i love because it's not based off of personal thoughts it's very much factual there's definitions there's historical context like everything in here is very much um factual i can look up the facts to confirm what it's saying it references other scriptures to confirm what it's saying so that's why i love it um study bibles i think are awesome but i just think people should pay attention to the commentary of the um bibles that they're getting so that's the second one and the third one is one of my newest favorites because and that is this bible and this is not the cover um the cover looks like this let me just take it out of the 
and right now my bible has like tabs and stuff in it because i'm doing my paper um but it is this this is the new king james spirit filled life study bible and it's also from thomas nelson again same idea with the commentary the commentary in this is really really good like really good i love it so much um and i just i really like all the extra bits and particles in here and how it has word studies and um little articles that really help you to really make it practical to apply the scriptures especially in the old testament i love it so much and at the end of each um book in the bible there's a section called truth in action where they literally will give you um different ways so there's they help you with growing in godliness cultivating dynamic devotion pursuing holiness and um the walk of faith and then sometimes they talk about victory so i really just those are my favorite three bibles that i use i mean i have no other words those are my top three bibles <laughs> um Question number three is describe your ideal quiet time and space. So this is a hard one just because I'm very much a mood kind of devotional person or quiet time person. So for me, my ideal quiet time uh, space would be a really nice office with um, fairy lights. Just because I like to do my quiet time in the morning. Or like late at night so i feel like it would be really nice with some beautiful curtains and fairy lights around the wall a cute little um beanie bag little chair a cute little couch a cute desk um a little blank area where i can have like my prayers on the wall and put my yoga mat and like sit to pray if i want to lay post lay prostrate on the floor um my ideal quiet time a cup of coffee a hot tea i've really been enjoying coffee a lot just because i'm loving the cold stones um sweet cream creamer i'm a cold stone fanatic i love cold stone i used to love haagen dash all the time but i'm definitely cold stone kind of girl love me some cake batter oh, amazing but this um has the cold stone coffee creamer in here so definitely some a hot some type of hot drink um some type of cupcake or a muffin you know what I'm saying? Maybe some pasta. <laughs> and um, it, I don't know. It's kind of hard to really describe. I don't know what I was. I don't know what I was thinking when I came up with some of these questions. I don't even know if I, I think Angela came up with this question. So I don't know. It's a really hard one. But I know for sure like my ideal space would be a nice size room. Probably like the size of this room I'm in now. Um, the walls would be painted like a nice gray color. A calm gray color. Uh, fairy lights on the wall. Lots of scriptures and beautiful pictures all over the wall. Um, definitely a beanie bag so that I uh, one of those furry beanie bags so that I can sit on with a book if I want to like read a devotional book or just spend devotional time reading a non-fiction Christian book um, a little sofa if I feel like lounging out a desk so I can actually do my studies and then an area for me to actually be on the floor to pray that is something I'm learning more to do so um, I hope that answered the question so yeah question number four is what are your top three books in the Bible and my top three hands down it's kind of hard. <laughs> um, definitely the Gospel of John, number one. I think the Book of Ruth would be number two for me. I just, I really love the Book of Ruth. And probably, oh, jeez. Um, it'll be a tie between James and Jonah for three. Just because I love the Book of Jonah, like, the depth that there is in it and just how much you learn from Jonah and his stupidity <laughs> but then I also love James and what it teaches about faith so I don't know so my top two for sure are the gospel of John is number one the book of Ruth because I just love Ruth and Boaz and how it depicts Jesus and his love for us I just I love it so much um and then it'll either be Jonah or James I there I guess there'll be three together so I have four but the last two are together so there we go so question number five is what is your favorite Christian nonfiction book. And for me, this is a tie between two books because they always will hold a special place in my heart because I love both the authors um, just as people. Their spirits are really amazing and the content within their book are amazing and they really held a lot of importance to me um, when I read them at the time that I read them. So um, for me, it'll be Fervent by Priscilla Shire. She is amazing. I love her ministry. I love her as a person, and I do love her as an actress. She played in War Room, and there's another movie coming out that she's playing in. I can't remember the name of the movie, so I'll throw it on the screen right now. But yeah, this movie here, she's playing in, and it comes out either in... I think it comes out in August or September. 
can't remember, but I'm excited to see that. I haven't seen the trailer yet, so I probably should check that out. But I love Fervent. It's amazing. It's on prayer. Um, and I think there are 11 strategies. Um, 10 strategies um, that she just helps you to focus on with prayer and being strategic and praying for those different things because the enemy likes to use those 10 strategies to um, kind of deter us from prayer and our walk. And then the next book for me is going to be Cling by Kim Cash Tate. If I have not said this multiple times, I love Miss Kim Cash Tate. She is phenomenal. You guys can follow her on YouTube. I will link it down below, or you can just click the eye on the screen. Her YouTube channel is phenomenal. Right now, she is doing a cling Bible study on the Gospel of John, which I am here for. I haven't watched them yet. I have them saved in my watch later, just because I'm focusing on everything else with class. But um, she is phenomenal. Her Bible study teachings are amazing. They're very real. Um, I love the cling series that she came out with, which is so amazing. She's singing on the soundtrack like... She this lady is phenomenal, but um, I've read Cling twice. Okay, I have two copies. I have way more copies that I'll be giving away soon, so if you are interested in the copy of Cling, definitely stay tuned because I have copies um, coming up for giveaways. But um, it's just about, about choosing a life of intimacy with God, um, praying, being intimate when you're praying, studying the Word of God, and just being in the presence of God. I love it so much. It's amazing, and um, I'm just I'm highly impacted by this book. You can see the inside of that, and um, the inside of Fervent. Looks like that. Um, I did underline in gold. I'm probably going to purchase a different edition of this book and um, reread it, or I might just re annotate this one. I don't know yet, but those are my two favorite that are like there. It's, it's just no deciding between them, so we'll put that there. The next question is, what is your favorite Christian movie? And I have a stack in front of me because I can't pick. I mean, my number one definitely is this one, but I love all the movies from this company um, and these creators so i have all of these movies i don't even know what the creator company is called which i know is terrible um is that what they're called okay so um i'm just gonna say the kendrick brothers <laughs> um i love all their movies um i think there's three of them there's steven alex and another brother um they always act in their movies as well um and you will probably know them best for war room they are the creators of war room war room is literally my go-to movie i probably watch this every other month or every month um especially when i feel like there is a dry season and me wanting to pray this is amazing and for those of you who don't know priscilla shire this is her right here she is the author of the book fervent fervent is kind of like the woman's take on war room so we have this movie but i do love their other movies um like i said they have another one coming out which i'll put the cover on the screen so you guys can see the cover um for that movie but it's coming out whatever date is on the screen but um they have courageous which i just i love this movie it's awesome and this is one of the kendrick brothers here is another one of the kendrick brothers right here um, they have this one, which is Facing the Giants, which is a football one, but it is so, oh, I love this. This is probably my second favorite. This book, this book, this movie is phenomenal. Um, what I will do is I will post clips of these on my Facebook page for Daughter Up Increase. So if you follow or like the Facebook page for Daughter Up Increase, you guys can see some like little clips from this. I'll leave a link to their website down below, but, uh such a good movie and this probably actually made me enjoy football a lot so we have facing the giants we have the grace card um i don't really remember if they actually created this honestly but i'm including it because it's from the same um company i'm looking on it i don't think they created th i don't think the kendrick brothers did this i'm not sure but it's from the same um film company so but it's called the grace card and it's so good um because this guy here i think he's a cop and a pastor um and it's just about him learning to forgive and give grace to people so it it's so good so good and then fireproof was actually one i watched years ago um in it's a good movie it's about a marriage and fireproofing your marriage um the husband and wife are dealing with some things because the husband i guess he's not what his wife wanted after the years and um she ends up cheating and she wants to leave but he wants her he kind of gives up and then his father tells him to fight and pray um so it's a really good movie it's amazing for those who are looking to get married or who are married or who are even struggling right now in their marriage it's really good so we have that but um if i had to pick 
War Room <laughs> is my number one. Um, and then Facing the Giants would be number two for me. So, yeah. The next one is, who is your favorite person to study in the Bible? And, uh, can I say Jesus? <laughs> um, but no, I'm not going to say Jesus. Uh, for me, I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's a good one. I'm going to say Jonah, as of right now. Jonah, um, just because I learned so much from Jonah and I could relate to him, um, with his, like, disobedience and rebellious stage, um, I just, I don't know. There was something about him that I could really click with. So, definitely Jonah is, um, one of the people I like to study in the Bible. The next question is, do you eat and or drink while studying? And the answer is yes. Drinking, I always have a hot drink, be it tea or coffee or hot chocolate or i have ginger ale because i like me some ginger ale either grape or i don't even know what this flavor is i don't know what flavor that is but um yeah ginger ale or a hot drink um snacks yes i do twizzlers hershey's white chocolate um cookies and cream chocolate bar or i have little muffins or cupcakes <laughs> those are like my essentials when i am studying the next question is uh, to share your favorite three worship songs. And for me, I have so many of my favorites, um, but three of them. The first one is um, My Worship. I'll play a clip of it right now for you guys. I love this song so much. I'll leave a link to the song down below. The next one is by my sis, Kimmy Jenkins, Kimmy J. I love her. She goes to my church. If you guys have seen my Instagram um, videos from church and you would see the the young lady that is singing um, and leading praise and worship, her name is Kimmy Jenkins. You guys can go check her out. I love her so much. But she came up with her new single and I love it because it's the type of song that gets me hyped. Like I literally have been playing this nonstop every morning. Um, and I love it because you can listen to it while you're showering, while you're studying, while you're cooking, while you're cleaning or whatever. So I'll play quickly. Yeah. You got another one. I just, I love the beat so much and her husband did the track and her husband is a musician at the church. So yeah. Show me your faith without works. And I'll show you how we do when you put the work to it. We get to it. Do it all no matter what. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I just love it because it's such an upbeat song, but it the words really make you um, focus on God. So that's that. And, ooh, I don't know. I think So Will I by Hillsong. But um, I like the one by Osby Berry. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. So I'll play it. But yeah, right now, those are my favorite three at the moment because my favorite literally changes, like, a lot. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite three. I will leave, like I said, links to all of those songs down below. Um, so yeah. Moving on, do you have a favorite scripture? If so, what is it? Yes, I do. My favorite scripture is Psalms 91. Um, I think one through verses 1 through 10 specifically, but I love Psalms 91 as a whole. That is my favorite. Um, the reason why is because when I went to my first church, which was Prayer Temple Church in the Bronx, New York, um, dance ministry, we always had to... Be, my dance ministry leader basically was very adamant about us knowing the Word of God um, and the reason why we dance. You know, there are some ministries out there who just dance to dance, but um, some ministries actually teach the children the Word of God and the colors and what they mean and the movements and stuff. So, like, she was very, very much, like adamant and heavy about knowing the word of god and i remember one time she told us we had to remember like memorize psalms 91 um 
and I memorized it and it's literally become one of those favorite scriptures for me. Um, Psalms 91 as a whole is amazing, but Psalms 91 verses 1 through 10 for me, um, definitely it's my favorite. The next question is, do you have a word and or verse of the year? Share it with us. So I do. Um, my word of the year is peace. Last year, my word was faith. This year, my word of the year is peace. And I'm just loving that word um, because I'm finding that I'm coming to a, a state of peace that I've never felt before. And I'm absolutely loving it. Um, and my verse of the year is Isaiah 43 and 2. It's really 43 verses 1 through 3, but I focus more so on um, verse 2, but I'm going to read verses 1 through 3 for you guys um, in the NASB, and I'll throw it on the screen right now. But it says, But now thus saith the Lord your Creator, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor will the flame burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in your place. Um, if you want to be accurate, it's more so um, Isaiah 43, 1b, because it's the second part of verse 1 to the first portion of um, verse 3. But yeah, that is my scripture for the year. And it just, verse 2 really just sticks out to me and it gives me peace because it means that no matter what I go through, he's going to be with me. In the midst of the storm, he's going to be with me. If I have to um, go through a river or deep waters, he's with me. He's not going to let me drown. He's not going to let me be overwhelmed by the water. If I have to deal with um, some drama, he's not going to let me be burned, you know. So it just, it, it gives me peace. So that's my scripture and my verse of the year. The next question is, how often do you read your Bible? Um, it used to be every day, um, and it still is every day, but not to the point where it used, used to be, like, I used to be heavy in my Bible for, like, hours, but, um, I don't do that as much as I used to, and, um, I miss doing it that way, I miss the long hours in the Word of God, um, so, but yeah, I read my Bible every single day. What is your favorite Bible story? Probably the story of Ruth and Boaz, um, just because of the depths that um it has has uh that yeah my favorite person to study is jonah but my favorite bible story would probably be the romance between ruth and boaz and not because of the romance um but because of the deep spiritual meaning and um the revelation that it brings it's just it's amazing especially the threshing floor scene oh my god just by by far amazing um, the next one is share some of your favorite pastors or churches to listen to. So, for me, um, number one definitely is Michael Todd from Transformation Church. I love Michael Todd. Um, I think everybody knows about Michael, Pastor Michael Todd from his Relationship Goal series, which is how I found out about him. Um, someone posted it on Facebook and I went to follow his channel. And um, his ministry is amazing. I adore his ministry i adore what he teaches i like how he really references scripture um and really relates it back to his life to make it more relatable his ministry is amazing i would love to go to tulsa and actually visit his ministry one day um the next would it be uh hmm. let me open up the youtube app um heather lindy um she is the founder and creator of pinky promise i am not gonna lie i do not remember her church's name not gonna lie um but i'll leave it down below um who else do i like to listen to sarah jake roberts oh my god that lady is a powerhouse that is td jake's daughter if you guys don't know she's amazing i love listening to her um hmm. her husband is amazing as well but i really do love um her I think that's it uh online wise yeah that's probably it um those are the two that i really navigate towards the most i guess that makes sense um let me check because i have a video playlist called sermons of like different sermons i want to listen to but um yeah pretty much heather Lindsay and um sarah jake Sarah Jakes, Robert, and Pastor Michael Todd. Those are my favorite kind of pastors and speakers to listen to and watch on YouTube. Um, churches and all that. Um, I love listening to Priscilla Shire as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
um on youtube now obviously i love listening to my personal leaders from my church speak who are basically my leaders um bishop darren jenkins senior pastor tanya jenkins the youth pastor his name is troy wilson and the associate pastor who is alan williams i love hearing them preach they are just powerhouses i love them so much they are my leaders that go to um flight to freedom worship center and i love them but um yeah that's pretty much it the next question is do you fast monthly i don't fast monthly um I want to, um, and not just do like a food fast, but I really do want to fast from different things. Like I want to do a monthly fast where I am just disconnecting from social media, um, just to solely focus on my time with God and in the word. I do fast with my church every few months. We do fast every now and then, um, for like specific dedicated reasons, but monthly I don't, but I do fast, um, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, the next question is, do you have a prayer wall, closet, or journal to record your prayer requests and answer prayers? And the answer to that is yes. So I have two prayer journals. We have this beauty, which you guys have seen me share on YouTube before. So I have my prayer journal here. I recently created an intercessory prayer journal, which looks like this. This is where I will intercede for other people. I just want to separate... My personal prayers from prayers for other people just so that I can go back to this for like my personal request and then focus heavily more so on praying for other people because I find when I'm praying for both myself and other people at the same time it kind of gets lost if that makes sense so I felt like having two different prayer journals would work best um, so yeah next uh, do I have a prayer wall I do and I'll insert a clip here showing you guys my prayer wall. So a lot of these prayers are from the Fervent book by Priscilla Shire. Some of these are wrote on index cards. But um, these are basically personalized prayers that I did with using scripture. Um, I just basically replaced the pronouns, plugged my name in the scriptures, and added to it to pray over myself, which is amazing. Next question is, what is your favorite study method? Word study, chapter summary, or verse mapping, and etc. Um... Bible journaling? <laughs> is that a method? Um, I say Bible journaling only because I like to encompass all of them as a whole. I love doing word studies within my my um, Bible journaling. I love doing uh, verse by verse. I, I guess verse by verse would be my study method. Does that make sense? Verse by verse mixed with um, word studies. That is my favorite type of study method. I just, I like breaking down each verse um, so that I can understand the context and the meaning of the verse within in that scripture because a lot of people take scripture out of context um, because they don't really go in depth and study that verse they kind of just focus on that verse i like looking at it at a whole um and breaking down that verse and then bringing it all together for a better fuller understanding um and i love word studies just because i love knowing the original language of a word because how we the definitions we give things nowadays are not what they meant back in the days um when you literally take the time and look up like hebrew and greek definitions there's so many different definitions and meanings for that one word, but when you fish further and you look at that word in the correct meaning, it changes the whole idea of a scripture. So I guess verse by verse slash word study would be my favorite method, but I still like the Bible journaling method. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the next question is, do you share God's word and encourage others daily? And the answer to that is yes. Um, I send texts to my sisters every now and then. And when I say sisters, I mean from church. Um, I post here on YouTube. I post on Facebook. I post on Instagram. So yeah, I my goal is to share the word of God every day, any way that I can. Be it through book reviews, um, bookish memes, uh, posting a scripture. Like I like to do that. So yeah. The next question is: How has DOI and TTDW impacted your life? Um, well, DOI impacted my life personally because. Uh, it has gotten me out of the dark stage that I was in. Um, and it's helping me and grooming me into what God has designed me to be. Um, TTGW has impacted my life because one, that is my sis. I love you, Angela. Like, literally, that's my sister. I want to meet her. Like, we've never met in person, but I'm planning to go meet her. Like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen one day. Me and her going to have a good time. It's going to happen. Um, 
But yeah, I just, I love everything that she's doing. Um, I've known about verse mapping, but the verse mapping that I know about is very different from the verse mapping that she does. So she has taught me a different way to verse map, which I love. Um, she has helped me better my annotating skills because I have always annotated in my books, but my annotating system was very simple, um, really, really simple. But through watching her, you know, videos, I've learned a, a whole new different way to annotate and it just has changed my life for the better. So I'm learning things from her just like she's learning things from me. Um, she supports me. I support her. She sends me encouragement. I send her encouragement. It's not as often as it used to be just because I've just gotten so busy and she's so busy. But um, no matter what, she will be sis for life. Like that is my sister. God had he had a purpose behind me and her meeting each other virtually we met through youtube um but i definitely plan to meet her in person i definitely plan to have a girls weekend with her where we would just sit and make videos and talk about god and watch movies and and her mom too i love her mom so much um i love her mom and her kids are amazing like i just everything just angela is like amazing i'm, I'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> um the last question is what more can doi or and or ttgw offer to help you continue to grow in christ i i can't really say because i'm i'm the owner of doi <laughs> um but i guess just me making more meaningful con not meaningful content but um me just really how can i say it i guess the, the content that i create just making it more consistent I, I don't that's not the word i don't know what the word i'm looking for is but just to make more content um and to focus the content on things that i personally enjoy which are books and you know movies and just growing as a whole if that makes sense um as far as ttgw i love my sister's chronological study that she started um she will be starting that back up soon i think she started it already or she's starting it back up um the verse mapping videos to continue but i really sis i really need to see some more annotating videos because your annotating is just amazing i love the way you annotate your your, your books so i would love <laughs> to see more of those videos i have texted you about this i have told you about annotating videos here this me yes i want those um just because they help me to better my annotating skills and i just love to see um, the inside of your mind when you're reading a book. I love looking at people's thoughts um, when they're reading books. That's just me. Um, but yeah. So I think that's it for this video. Very long. Um, I'm going to drink my coffee. It's probably cold now. And I know somebody's going to ask, and I waited to the end of the video to say this, but um, this is the Black Daughter of Increase um, coffee mug. Pay mine's no mine. Um, I kind of messed up my eye because I was picking at it. Yeah, I had one of those days where I was just, like, picking at it. So, it kind of just came off. Um, so I just cut the cursive off. But, um, yeah, the Black Daughter of Increase mug. I do have this in yellow, blue, red, pink, and white. Um, I'll show you those colors soon, but, um... Yeah, this is a mug. If you want one, you can go on the blog and purchase one. But um, I think it holds 16 ounces of a drink. Whether it be coffee, tea, water, whatever. But yeah. That is it for this video. Check out the other ladies' videos down below. Links are there. And the next video I do will be the um, devotional Bible study routine or essentials tag video. Not tag video, but um, it's part of the, the Kingdom Sisters YouTube collab video. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do an essentials video or a routine, and I don't know if I want to do it for like Bible study or devotional. I don't know yet. Um, I might do a devotional routine and then do in a Bible studies essentials. I'm not sure yet. But um, that video will be coming on July 29th. So stay tuned for that. But again, thank you guys for watching, rating, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.